Hello YouTube world and today we're just going to look at a few bars that have been produced by Banks and the first one we've got here is this Merrill Lynch and it's a, a bank in the US, I actually got this bar from the US it took a while to get here but I just like a few, I like bars that are different especially ones that are um, connected to Banks because you know it actually shows that they do, they do actually produce and they like real wealth despite what the Federal Reserve will say they love things like gold and, and assets in general. Uh, this one here is a Merrill Lynch one ounce bar. So I got from the US. It's an investment bank over there in the US. And it's 999 fine silver. It's got a little toning there on the back. But again, it's I uh, it's a really nice bar. Anything to do with banks, I always try and pick up. They usually have a bit of a premium to them, but I enjoy them, so I spend the money. And next up, we've got one here. From the, U from the UK. Now this company doesn't exist anymore because in 1984 they basically were bought by the Bank of England because they were going through so many problems. They actually produced gold and silver bars. This is a Johnson Maffey Bankers Limited company. And Johnson Maffey, after being exposed to too many bad loans, they actually were suffering so badly that the Bank of England had to step in and take them over. There wasn't any time to try and arrange a purchase for the company. So basically on the Sunday night they were bought for a pound by the Bank of England. But again, these guys, they produced a lot of bullion bars and all the ones you see are going to be pre-1984. So again, this is a pre-1984 bar. Johnson Maffey Bankers. Again, we know Johnson Maffey still do produce bullion bars, but the Bankers ones are from pre-1984, before the company went bust. There you go, that's another, that's another one ounce bar that. It's got a nice little serial number down there. And the logo, nice little weight to it. And I'll place that there. Next up again, I'm going to do another Johnson Maffey, Bankers. And this one is 100 gram. So here you go, it's got the serial number down there, and it's a 100 grams fine silver from the Johnson Maffey Bankers Limited. You can see the thickness of it there. And it's actually it's surprising because I've got a 5 ounce bar, and it, it almost is similar in size to the 5 ounce bar. Again, I mean, that's, this is 3.2 ounces, so it's not far off, not far off a five ounce bar, but it varies. It's quite similar in size. It's a, it's a lovely bar, 100 grams. And again, me and my obsession with bars that have anything to do with banks or coins. I will do a new video with coins as well. And there's a the logo. It says 999 on it. Again, this is a pre 1984 before they went bust bar. And I'll put that there for you. Next up. From the US, the great US of A again. This is the first National Bank of Chicago. One ounce fine silver bar. A very nice bar. It says at the bottom they're made in Switzerland. And on the back, you've got a picture of their bank tower and a serial number. Very nice little one ounce art bar, you could say. But again, it's to do with uh, the first National Bank of Chicago, which I don't believe exists anymore either. I actually think they don't exist. I think they're bought out. But that's a another nice one ounce bar for you. Again, I do like my banker's bars. Next up, I have a European bank. I actually worked across the road in Canary Wharf to these guys. And it's Credit Suisse. They've got uh, offices in Canada Square in Canary Wharf. And this is a Credit Suisse one ounce silver bar. They've all, they've all got the individualized serial numbers there in the front there we go I've got a few gold ones I'm going to show you guys in another video and you can see in the back it's stamped Credit Suisse going all the way around again that's a it's a nice piece one ounce piece and made by a, a major investment bank here we go and next up I actually showed you guys the older version of this bar in the last video this is a 100 gram UBS bar. Now this is the newer bar. As you can see the logo with the three keys. So it's after 1998 this one. The one I showed in the last video was, was pre-98 before the logo changed. And there you go. See again AH Melter Assets. Your Argo Harris Over there. And uh, look at the thickness of that. Really nice. It's not a big bar. It's about the size of an ounce. In, in, in its uh, general size. But the thickness is where... 100 grams coming there, 3.2 ounces that is. Again, that's a nice 
Nice bankers bar from Switzerland there. I do, I do like my bankers. Here we go. I don't like my bankers. I like my bankers bars. And last up, this is quite rare. So I don't, I haven't really seen many of these. But again, you can see the three keys there from from the UBS bar. And this is a Swiss bank. So again, this is before they all merged together. This it's a Swiss bank corporation with its own little serial number there with the three key logo. I mean, if you guys watch sports, Formula One and that, you'll see that UBS three keys all over the place because that's where the money is. <laughs> Let me turn it around to the back and it tells you there, one ounce fine silver, 999. If you see there in the corner, it says MP. That stands for Metal Ore Products. So this bar was made by Metal Ore. And this is a small collection of bankers bars for you guys. Again, banking on silver. At the minute, the price of silver is about £11.80 an ounce, give or take, which is phenomenally low. It's, it's the most undervalued asset. So again, if you can get your hands on as much of it as you can, gold's gone up a little bit, but it's still, you know, compare it to the currency. The ECB started QE this week, just gone. They're printing money at a phenomenal rate. So if you can get your hands on any asset, whether it's property, art, gold, silver. I like silver because it's so undervalued, in my opinion. Uh, you know, under £12 an ounce, you, you can't go wrong. Even in 2011, we saw a little spike up to £32 an ounce. So that was more of a rough guide of the way it should be going. So if you can get your hands on it now while it's at this price, you need to do that. And I'm going to bring doing a few more videos some fractional gold, some collector's pieces. I, I collect 925 coins, so from the Royal Mint, etc., etc. And if you look online, you can really pick up some, some nice collector's coins for a very good price. So, you know, you guys need to get, get in there and get as much stuff as you can. Okay, thanks for watching, guys.